third way for the Yes. First, we had the question for the Andy Doors, and then for the uh, Pink Pong Doors. And then, we need you po ay ang theme song ng Morning Love at Night Time. Siyempre, kinanta ni Roxanne Marcel o... Hi, Mel Navarro. Yes, thank you very much, Tanaka. And I believe. Um, yung story. Well, I play the role of Jennifer. Dito sa pelikula to at si Will naman si Victor. Yung role ko is very babaeng bakla. Tapos, laki siya sa Santa Fe, so she's a Santa Fean. And then, talagang um, masayahin siya in front of her friends. So, kung may dinadala siya or may dinaramdam siya, patago niya itong um, nilalabas. So, kailangan pumunta siya sa liblib, na pakove, ng mga ganun ganap. And then, saka siya mamangalingan. So, ganun siya sa pag-ibig. Parang, hindi niya papakita sa lahat na she's broken-hearted. And um, the try niya um, makaahon on her own. Um, ako personally, ganun din ako sa totoong buhay. Um, nagkataon lang sa PBB, may camera. Tiyara! <laughs> then, pero um, in real life talaga, sobrang masayahin ako yung tao. And then super, ano, super babaeng bakla. Pero... Pag kami dinaramdaman ako, secret kong malupit. Mas, mas sikreto pa siya kay Victoria. Pero kadalit. <laughs> um, yung love story naman nila, actually, it's not really a love story yet. To be honest. Huwag kayo mag-expect na pa-love story ito. Parang it's more of getting to know each other's stage. Na gusto namin talaga i-highlight yung best part of um, getting into a relationship. Yung... Um, how to parang break the walls, mga ganon. Parang, how do you, parang mo liligawan ang, ang pamilya, yung mga ganon. Parang mo liligawan ang mga kaibigan. Kasi the reality is, pagka jojowa ka, hindi naman yung, yung utas lang eh, di ba? Hindi naman yung tao lang eh. Parang, ano liligawan mo, barangay. So parang in this case, the whole town of Santa Fe ang liligawan niya. So parang ganon. Um, or yun yung challenge kay Victor. And, Alam siya. So, yan. As is what is. <laughs> As is what is. Um, in our real life naman, in our real um, story, um, parang ganun din halos yung nangyari. It was a very long period na bago kami, naging kami. Parang almost two years bago... Niligawan din yung pag-uwi. Very, ano, friendship. Very fre friendship muna talaga. Oh, getting to know each other was the longest time ever. <laughs> Pinakamatagal talaga kay Will. Kasi, kaya kahit balik-balik uh, ta rin mo, talagang mag talaga kami ni Will. No matter what. Pa? Thank you very much, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ako po naman, uh, yung role. <laughs> uh, Victor po. Victor, isa po siyang NGO worker na nakapuntad po siya sa Santa Fe para, para, para mahanap siya ng isang bagay. But originally, it wasn't Jennifer. So yung yung po yung title po ng I Found My Heart in Santa Fe. Actually, parang you can say two birds one stone din po yung. And um, you were looking for your mom. Um, but not. Um, I was looking for a difference. Oh, ano sa press kit ba? Ano sa ano sa press kit ba? Kaya nasa secret ko. Ayaw. Ang bilis mo. So yun po. Uh, um, and as a story of our truth of life selves, I can definitely say na ako since galing din po talaga ako sa ibang bansa and namit ko siya dito sa Pilipinas and yung yung energy and yung connection that her and I had together was very similar to the story then of yung feeling when you meet someone and may fireworks and may may Oh, may ito ma-explain, may divine intervention na that has been orchestrated para mamit. Gusto mo, gusto mo, ikaw na lang. Dragi mo mga gusto na. So yun po, 
This is the first movie that Roxanne and I have done, and super natuwa ako na siya po yung partner, ka-partner ko dito. And of course, we're representing the Philippines na rin. As a pinakamagandang lugar for me is Santa Fe at the moment. Sobrang ganda ng Santa Fe. Um, it's really paradise. Pag may chance po kayo, punta kayo doon. People have not tried that. Ah, hello po. Um, nakapunta ako sa Santa Fe uh, isang beses pa lang. But, uh, sana po, after, I think uh, the plan is also after the premiere next month, we'll be premiering the film na rin sa Cebu. So, uh, yung mga adventures po sa Santa Fe. Uh, Siyempre, swimming. Um, you can also do a very romantic bicycle riding na rin too. Pwede magret ng motor. Meron din po silang uh, skydiving doon po mismo sa Santa Fe. Um, it's a very serene, peaceful area that makes you become in tune again sa basic beauty ng, ng mundo. So, um, there's not a lot of things that you can uh, do as far as in like entertain like renting jet skis, mga It is really a place of essence where nature brings you back to the best. Uh, beauty and heart of what uh, the organic nature is supposed to be. So very, very peaceful, Kusha, and uh, it's beautiful. We, we can't wait to go back. We can't wait to go back. What would you say? Uh, first time, ko lang din pumunta nung when we were going to shoot the Holy Week. So. Um, the whole period ng Holy Week nandun kami at nagkataon na um, wala talaga kaming oras to do other activities except for the things that were lined up for our scenes. Pero sa mga, of course, si Direk chose the best spots in in Santa Fe at um, isa sa mga napuntahan namin yung Kinatarkan. It was a very far <laughs> uh, boat ride pero ha? Pero honestly, sobrang, it was literally, ang tagal kong hindi ginagamit yung salitang epic. Pero totoo, epic talaga siya. As in, buti na lang may mga drones kami to really show the beauty of of um, Santa Fe at Kinatarkan. And um, ang daming mga pa-cove na parang di ba sa atin, parang pag may cove, parang ay! Oh, best surprise, may pako. Pero dito parang hindi na siya surprise kasi mayat maya may pako. So parang literally every spot is so beautiful um, for the millennials. Literally Instagram worthy lahat ng spots. Um, ano talaga siya? Parang isa pa siya sa natitirang paradise ng Philippines. It's another beautiful place for um, tourists all over the world to to just feel yung yung vibe. Iba, iba kasi yung vibe ng Santa Fe. Napaka-chill niya. Wala siyang pinapatunayan. Wala silang parang ere. It's it's a very um, warm community. And tama yun eh. Wala talaga masyadong activities. And I think that's what we what we forget. Parang, or minsan, nagahanap tayo lagi ng something exciting. Pero the truth is, life is already exciting. Sometimes we just need to relax and to wash the the past away. At yun yung nagagawa ng tubig doon. Promise talaga. May kakaibang something talaga yung dagat doon. There's literally, yes, thank you for the word, magic. There is really magic in Santa Fe. And I think some people are searching for love, sometimes people are searching for a partner, pero sometimes you just want to find yourself again. And I feel that the, that was one of the things that I experienced when I went to Santa Fe. I found myself again. Parang mahanap mo yung sarili mo pagka tahimik eh. And tahimik talaga yung lugar na yun. Um, hindi magulo yung mga tao. Talagang may party scene, but it's not wild. So, pang wildflower na yung wild. <laughs> Dito naman, it's, ano, it's more of the serene, uh, beautiful, peaceful nature. Is the town still calling for help after with it? Uh, or were there still remnants from the previous 
Um, meron, pero hindi mo mafe-feel. Kasi sobrang chill ng mga tao doon. Hindi, move on sila agad. And yun nga yung ano nila, parang meron na silang, ano ba tawag doon, parang ugali. May, ano na sila, culture. May certain way na sila of, of just dealing with things na while you're there, baka you'll take a piece of that with you na uh, matututo ka to just let things pass. Let it be. Parang ganun yung vibe nila na masarap din ipakita sa mga tao na pag pumunta sila doon, um, they would feel uh, just free. And I think yun yung masarap din sa Santa Fe. Freedom. Hi, my name is Roxanne Barcelo and I'll be playing the role of Jennifer sa pelikula I Found My Heart in Santa Fe, which is produced by Blue Art Productions and of course directed by Direk Bona Fajardo. I'd love to share this movie with you all kasi sobrang wholesome siya. Pulong-pulong ng kilig at pulong-pulong ng pagmamahal. So sana supportahan nyo. Very light siya and I'm sure all of you will enjoy it. Pamilya niyo is happy. Love you guys. Eh, ba't di mo sinama yung girlfriend mo? Wala talaga akong girlfriend. Wala. Mag-isa talaga. Victor, this is Jennifer, my daughter. She's your daughter? No, I'm his daughter. Paulit-ulit. Ang siya pala talaga ng pes. Iba talaga mga lalaki. Ganyan. If you're the type of tourist that wants to live here, then... and find your soulmate, came to the right place. Alam mo, binobola mo na lang ako eh. Kasi narinig ko na yan. Luma na yan. Jennifer, look, if I've offended you or irritated you in any way, I'm really sorry. Love never asks because it's ready. I don't know if I'm ready to trust or ready ako magmahal.